Hey guys, how's it going? Brian from Brian Boas here. A few weeks ago, I released a video entitled How Fast Do Boas Grow? in which I showed you some locality boas of different ages so you can get an idea of a typical size of these animals as they grow up from year to year. One of my viewers asked a really important question about morph boas and you know the question was do morph boas grow at similar rates in fact all other things being equal morph boas generally grow quite a bit faster than locality boas today i wanted to show you some morph boas and locality boas of similar ages so you could get an idea about the differences in growth rates between locality boas and morph boas if you like this video I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos on keeping and breeding boas in captivity. When I got my first morph boa about five years ago, I was amazed by how much faster he grew compared to my locality boas of the similar ages. And this is given even the same feeding regimen. So all of my boas morph in locality get about one meal every other week until about age two or three, and then I switch them to every three weeks until they're sexually mature, at which point they typically will eat about once a month. And so I feed them a meal of an appropriately sized rodent that leaves a barely visible bulge. So given this regimen, the morph boas grow faster and they're getting larger rodents than the locality boas, and they'll move up in food size faster than my locality boas but they're still just getting one uh, rodent every other week. So they're getting basically the same number of meals, but because they're growing faster, the meal actually has more food to it. And so the animals I'm gonna show you have all been on a similar feeding regimen, but you can see that in general, morph boas are quite a bit, uh, grow quite a bit faster. I'm gonna start out with a couple boas that are about a year old, representing the locality boas, we have a 2019 baby Hog Island boa. And this animal is a little over two feet long. Um, it's probably about maybe 27 or 28 inches. It's really hard to get an accurate length of a snake as you well know. But this particular animal is feeding on small adult mice. And that leaves a barely visible bulge um, in this animal. And as I mentioned, I increased the size of the rodent as the animals grow, but I keep the feeding interval about once every two weeks for the first two or three years. And now for a morph boa that's about a year old. This is a 29 Hypo Jungle IMG boa. And you can see this animal is quite a bit girthier than the hog I just showed you. She is uh, a little bit under three feet, probably about two and three quarter feet. You can see she's quite a bit thicker. Um, you know, growing, growing quite a bit faster than the hog boa. This animal is currently eating on large adult mice about once every two weeks. And in fact, she probably will be ready to switch to small rats uh, probably in another few months. Just a faster growth rate in these morph boas. Now I want to show you a couple animals that are two years old. And representing the localities, we have this Suriname True Red Tail Boa Constrictor Constrictor. And you can see this animal is about the same size as that one-year-old morph boa that I just showed you. She's a little bit under three feet long. And, you know, her girth is about the same, maybe, in fact, even a little less thick than that morph boa I showed you. And like the morph boa a year younger than her, she's eating large adult mice at this point and they leave kind of a barely visible bulge in this particular animal. Now for a two-year-old morph boa. This is a 2018 Jungle Moran boa. And this guy is about a foot or so longer than the Suriname of the same age. This guy is about three and three quarter feet long. And this one is a male, you know, and as you probably know pretty well, the males in general tend to be smaller than females. Although this is most pronounced for adult boas. So the Suriname I showed you actually was a female. Um, you know, but for this case, the sex of the, of the animal isn't quite as important as the morph versus the locality. And you can see this animal is, you know, noticeably larger 
than the locality bow of the same age. And this guy is eating small rats and he probably can move up to medium rats pretty soon. He's probably also getting pretty close to being sexually mature and, and ready to breed. Although in general, I would wait at least another year or two uh, to breed an animal. Now a couple animals that are three years old. These are 2017 animals. And this is the age where the difference in size between the morph and locality boas really becomes very apparent. So th the locality boa here is a Suriname red tail. This is a female. You can see she's smaller than the uh, jungle moran male that I just showed you that is a year younger. This animal is probably about three and a quarter feet long. And she's on small rats. She'll probably continue on small rats. Probably move up to medium rats about next year. Here we have a three-year-old morph boa. This is a hypo jungle moran female. And you can see she's quite a bit bigger, especially more girthy and more muscular looking than the three-year-old Suriname that I just showed you. This is another female. She's probably about four and a half feet long. And I actually just moved her to large rats. She was eating medium rats for about a year, but now she's up to the large rats. And this particular animal is getting pretty close to being sexually mature. I know a lot of morph breeders will breed females when they're as young as uh, about three years old, which this female is. I'm not planning on breeding her next year. Probably the year after will be the first year to breed this particular animal. Although a lot of people that work with morphs breed females as young as three years old. But you can see the obvious difference in size between a three-year-old morph boa and a three-year-old locality boa. So I actually don't have any morph boas born in 2015 or 2016 to show you, but I wanted to do one more comparison. And both of these animals are about six years old. They are both born in 2014. And both of these animals are probably pretty close to their maximal adult size. They both continue to grow a little bit more over their life, but probably not that much more. And so this is a locality boa. This is a six-year-old female Suriname, true red tail boa. And she's really small. You can see um, she's not quite four feet long. This animal has just always been really small and grown really slowly. She got the same feeding regimen as all my other boas every other week or so. And right now she's getting fed about every three weeks. She's eating uh, medium-sized rats. This is just a small animal. So people think that true red tail boas are these giants, but there's also some individuals that just don't get that big. They just don't have the genetic potential to get that big. So they're not always giant snakes, but I don't expect this animal to get that much bigger. I'm probably gonna to try to pair her up with a smaller male and maybe even try to create a line of dwarf Suriname true red tail boas. And lastly, this is a morph boa, also born in 2014, Call albino. This is a male. And this was my first morph boa, and it really opened my eyes to how much faster the morph boas grow. This male is about five and a half to six feet long, and I'm currently feeding him extra large rats about once a month. He's probably not going to get much bigger than this, but you can see a much larger snake than that female Suriname that I just showed you. And I got both of these animals, these 2014 animals, about the same time. And I was just amazed by how much faster this guy was growing compared to that female. He just looks so much bigger, you know, when he was about two years old or so. Um, but you can see morph boas just in general grow faster than locality boas. And so the obvious question is why is this the case? And as I pointed out before, morph boas at this point in their relationship with humans can really be thought of as domesticated animals. We've really changed them by breeding them in captivity and by selecting for the traits that we want. And so this is both a conscious selection. And there's also some unconscious selection. So animals that are just better suited to captivity are more likely to survive and reproduce, even if people don't consciously select them. And so what's happened over many generations of breeding boas is the animals have been selected to grow faster and to breed younger. 
And in many cases, they breed without any kind of cycling. You can just put two morph boas together at almost any time of year, a male and a female, and you can potentially breed them. And so they've been changed quite a bit compared to the, you know, their wild ancestors. And so it's obviously advantageous for both the snakes and for the breeders to have them breed younger. And you may have heard me quote uh, a number of times for my locality boas. In general, I don't breed any male that's younger than about four or four and a half years old. I don't breed any female that's younger than about five or five and a half years. For morph boas, it's generally okay to breed them a year or even two years younger than that. I've heard about people breeding more, more females as young as three years, morph males as young as about two years. You know, in general, I probably would, would say about a year older than that because I, I slow grow my boas, so the males maybe three years, the females four years. Um, but in general, morph boas will reach breeding size at a younger age than the locality boas. And remember, I'm feeding these animals the same feeding regimen every other week or so as uh, young animals because the morph boas grow faster they move up rodent sizes faster, and thus they end up getting more food over the same period. But it's really the same feeding interval. So I wanted to finish the video. I've been getting a lot of questions about someone saying, well, I've been feeding my boa every 11 days and its growth rate is this, or I've been feeding every 17 days. And they're just concerned because maybe their boa is growing a little slower or a little faster than some of my boas, and that's perfectly okay. Every snake is an individual. They don't all grow at the same rate, and it's healthy for them to be different. So you don't need to panic if your snake's growing a little slower or a little faster. You just wanna have a slow, steady growth rate. In general, it's about six to 12 inches a year for the locality boas, you know, faster than that for the morph boas. You just want an animal that's not gonna be overweight. You should have a nice musculature like this animal. You can see the muscles and you can see this line of along the muscle, along the lateral side of the animal. You don't ever want to see any kind of you know, rolls of fat or if, I, I keep seeing all these pictures of these poor boas that look like stuffed sausages. They're just morbidly obese and you know when you have an obese boa you know it. It's not really hard to spot. So you want to keep your feeding so your animal is growing slowly, steadily, not getting fat, but putting on constant growth. Um, when you look at a healthy animal, you should be able to barely see its ribs. You, the ribs shouldn't be too prominent, but you should be able to kind of see and feel the ribs if you feel its side. If you just feel rolls of fat, that's going to be too heavy. Another thing is you can feel free to mix up the feeding regimen as you see fit. For example, rather than feeding every other week, you can feed um, a boa every 12 days or every 18 days, or you may want to feed a week apart and then you may want to skip three weeks. You just want to ensure constant steady growth. You can also experiment with different sizes of rodents. You can feed you know, a large mouse one week and then you can feed a small mouse the next week and then maybe a small, uh, like a pinky rat or whatever the appropriate size rat, you can mix it up. I mean, boas in the wild, they eat food of different sizes and they eat different types of prey. So feel free to add variety. And in general, if your boa is growing and it's not getting fat, you're probably doing well and it's, it's growing at an appropriate rate. So you don't need to lose sleep that your, your boa might be growing too fast or too slow. So I hope this was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boss.